Welcome to the ComWeb Administrative Training Series. In this video, we will cover some basic troubleshooting for member login issues. This will likely be the most common request you get from your residents, especially in the months immediately following Go Live. Before we begin, it's important to carefully define one term we'll be using repeatedly throughout this video, user account. This is a member's login credentials consisting of three parts, a username, a password, and an email address used for recovery purposes and for linking the user account to the member record. A user account cannot exist without all three parts. So every time you hear user account, just think login credentials. It's important to note that this is separate from a member's record, even though they are linked. A member cannot have a user account if they have not registered. So in order to know if a user has registered, you'll need to know where to look. It's easiest to just look in the profile of the user who is having difficulties. To do this, you can click on the Welcome drop-down menu and select Membership. Then select the sub-tab labeled Manage Members. Search the member in question and then click the Edit Pencil next to their household record. Then click the Edit Pencil again next to the member whose profile you need to investigate. Go to the Personal slash Web Info tab of their profile. The lower portion of this tab will display information pertaining to the member's user account. There are four possible versions of the screen you might encounter. We'll cover each and what you should be able to interpret based on this screen. The first version of this screen is no web user account. When you see this, it means exactly that. There is no user account. This person does not have login credentials and they need to register. You can ask the member to register by going to whatever your domain is slash register. The next version of the personal slash web info tab you may encounter is no web user account but this time there are buttons. This is almost exactly the same as the previous scenario, except this record already has at least one email address saved to it. You now have three options. Option number one, you can prompt them to register by going to whatever your domain is slash register. Option number two, you can click the send create account invite button to send them an automated email with a direct link to accept the website terms of use and create their user account. Just a quick side note, if multiple email addresses are listed in the member profile, the automated email will go to whichever email is checked as primary. Be sure to double check that only one email is checked as primary. Option number three, you can just create a user account for them. This option really only exists for those members who just can't seem to figure out technology. For everybody else, we strongly suggest that you have the member register their own account they'll have a much easier time remembering their login credentials if they were the ones that created them. The third version of the personal slash web info tab you may encounter are the user credentials. This is what the personal slash web info page looks like when a member is registered. The first thing you'll see is their username. In parentheses is the email address associated with the account for recovery purposes and the password will not be displayed for security reasons. You have a few options for these people who are having difficulty logging in. We strongly suggest that you simply have the user click the Forgot Login Information link on the member login page. This is in the exact same spot it would be for any website that requires a login. Most users are going to be pretty familiar with this. They can recover their login credentials using either their username or their recovery email. I like to let them know which email address they can expect to receive this email to. Additionally, you can send the password recovery email yourself by clicking the link that says password reset. You can also change the password manually by clicking the change password link. And finally, you can always just delete the user account altogether and start fresh. The final possible version of the personal slash web info tab you may encounter is a button that says link user account. This only happens if the recovery email is saved to multiple profiles. The most common reason we see for this is when spouses save each other's emails to their profiles. Remember that the user accounts are linked or attached to a record via that recovery email. 
This can cause the user account to become unlinked and bounce back and forth between the two records, not knowing which record to call home. You can easily fix this by clicking the Link User Account button and removing the email address from the account where it does not belong. There is one final scenario we'd like to cover, and this is a loop when a user cannot log in and cannot register, and they receive a message that says, an existing pending registration record with this email was found in the system. Please contact the administrator for more information. If this happens, it just means they have a pending registration request. If you do not know where to find this or how to process pending registration requests, check out the Processing Pending Members video on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash comwebinc. Thanks for watching. For more information and helpful tutorials, visit our support site at support.comwebforme.com.